was a major event, like past UN conferences on important issues that took place over 10-day periods and attracted more than 10,000 delegates. These UN conferences put together action plans of two or three hundred items to ensure the world heard their calls for justice. I was also pleased that the acronym for Indigenous Conference was to be the WCIP. It was the same uh, one that my uh, father's generation had used in establishing the groundbreaking World Council of Indigenous Peoples in 1975. I hope that meant the same spirit of hope and uh, independence for our peoples that was signaled by the World Council would be with us in this World Conference. But as we have uh, learned more and more about these conferences, we have uh, seen it is a great disappointment for Indigenous peoples. In fact, it is worse than a disappointment. It is a bit of an insult to Indigenous peoples. The World Conference of Indigenous Peoples uh, will not be a conference where we are placed at the top of the world's agenda for a week of serious examination of our issues, where, uh, as Indigenous peoples, can put together an action plan to begin repairing the damage of 500 years of colonialism. No, this will be a hurried half day, not really a conference at all, but more a simple plenary session under the direction, control of many of the same states who have and continue to oppress our peoples. When we look at what is now being proposed, we see that the real world conference was, has in a real sense been cancelled by the UN and replaced uh, by this uh, other thing, the plenary session. Instead of a series of UN conferences, we are being offered a hurried genuflection of, at the altar of indigenous rights, a short homily from our oppressors, and then moving on not only without any serious initiatives but without even any serious discussions. This so-called World Conference of Indigenous People is a perpetuation of a reality that has left 370 million of the world's peoples at the bottom of the ladder with genocidal forces still squeezing us socially, culturally, and politically in our daily uh, fight for survival. Indigenous peoples ask for a dialogue with the world for respect of our rights to determine our own future and to safeguard our traditional lands. This conference offers none of uh, these things. This fake WCIP is an insult to the Indigenous peoples. My late father, George Manuel, would be deeply offended that uh, this a fake International World Conference would bear the acronym of the World Council of Indigenous Peoples. Let the United Nations uh, call the September meeting what it is, a high plenary session on Indigenous issues, and reserve the name of the World Conference of Indigenous Peoples for a true World Conference that we would like to build together with peoples of the world, a real World Conference designed by Indigenous peoples themselves to meet our uh, very real and very urgent needs. The September meeting is none of these things. Thank you.